With a sudden burst of intent that belied his seven-foot frame, Harry Sutar darted in front of Johan Vasquez and headed home Martin Boyle's corner. Guillermo Ochoa could do little but watch as ball passed over his body and settled into the bottom corner of net. Sixteen minutes into the match played at Cowboys Stadium in Texas and Australia, Mexico took a 10 lead. Fast forward to 83rd minute, as Socceroos looked to take a 21 lead against El Tri attack, and a long ball striker replaced Sutar on edge of penalty area. Although it seemed like a simple permission, Sutar inexplicably chose to bow. It's unclear whether this was miscommunication or an error in judgment, but it appeared to be the action of a defender waiting for his goalkeeper to rush forward and collect the ball. Instead, it was bench player Cesar Huerta who was lurking. As Matt Ryan remained where he was, Huerta slotted the ball into the goal to erase a two-goal deficit and give Mexico a 22 draw. Suta had entered this international window under a cloud. He has seemingly not been in Leicester City boss Enzo Maresca's plans since coach's arrival and the Foxes' relegation from Premier League. Suta has not featured in a competitive club match since May 22. Aussie coach Graham Arnold, loyal his core players, had given him a vote of confidence and called him up anyway, challenging Suta to prove why he deserved play for the Kings. Power Stadium the coach was rewarded for his faith with Sutar's opening goal and a reassuring defensive performance for long periods of the game. However, in suspended suspension, a player's mistake due to serious lack of match minutes and sharpness saw all that good work go to waste. It is unknown whether Maresca was watching. The confidence of the opening goal, which had allowed the Australians to play with their counter-attacking strength, was also gone. Instead, they closed the hatches under the quickly ending Mexican storm. As Latin music blared from the stadium's speakers at every stop in the game, Jackson Irvine was strained by an injury and rolled his ankle at a terrible angle while colliding with Roberto Alvarado. Arnold said after game that the first indications from Irvine were that situation was not good. Australian midfielder Aidan O'Neill heads the ball, while Mexican defender Jesus Gallardo watches an international friendly in Texas. LM Otero AP of course, Australia's 22 draw is a positive development. After back-to-back -back defeats against Ecuador and Argentina, Arnold's team entered a hostile stadium away from home and, despite disappointment of going 20 up, managed to earn a draw against the reigning Gold Cup holders, and world's number 12 team. Ranked side. Australia had barely seen the ball before Sutar's opener, but once he took the lead and tackled from a position of reactive strength they looked calmer. It would take until the 38th minute for Mexico to finally get their first shot on target through Orbelin Pineda, whose shot was